back over to the guys. Want to visit with Royals Hall of Famer Jeff Montgomery, and this is one of my favorite stories that you tell. But take us back to a minor league moment that you had in 1986. Yeah, Joel, it's a starting pitcher during the 98-1986 season. And I'd pitched the game before, and we're doing batting practice, and I asked this bat boy if he would be interested in earning $5 by getting the baseballs on the bucket. That's when all the batting practice balls come in, and you pick them up uh, if you're the starting pitcher from the day before. And he said he looked at me, and he just kind of shook his head and walked away. And we're getting ready to start the game after batting practice, and I look out on the mound, and here's that bat boy. He's standing out there to singing the national anthem. Next thing I know, that bat boy... He takes the hill and he proceeds to throw a two hit shutout against us. I later learned his name was Greg Maddox. Well, there you go. From back in 1986, Monty, who he thought was the Bat Boy, ended up being that guy who had a pretty good career, the Hall of Famer now. Yeah, I think one of the best right handed pitchers to ever play the game. And to get what he got with his ability was just, it was something special. And I was looking up some of the numbers, Ryan. Greg Maddox never faced the Royals. Tom Glavin did once as a member of the New York Mets, but just thought we'd take a look. And HUD was three for 11 against the Mad Dog with a double and an RBI. Not as good HUD against Tom Glavin, five for 27 with a 185 batting average, but you went deep on him twice for a couple homers. That's right. Hey, but I'll, I remember that one double I hit off Maddox. It was up in Montreal, and I hit it down the line. And I'm at second base, you know, and I'm looking, and Maddox is rubbing the ball up in back of the mound, and he's staring at me. And he's just looking at me, and it was a cocky look like, how could you hit a double off of me? You know, that's what I read from his body language, you know, and I was this close to saying something back to him, but I didn't. I just kept my mouth shut. But, you know, he, he had an air about him, especially between the lines. I mean, and, and he was tremendous with his, with his pitch selection. And, you know, to give up a hit to a guy like me, obviously it's going to be embarrassing for him. But the way he stared me down, that brought my competitive juices out. I was ready to go after him. Is it possible that he was not thinking like, how could you hit a double off of me, but that maybe he was actually thinking, <laughs> how could a guy like you hit a double off of me? That's what I was trying to say. <laughs>